Two years ago, I built a permanent roof on my gazebo using polycarbonate panels. I posted a short video on YouTube and I received a lot of questions about the build. My neighbor asked me if I could help him to build one. So we did. I had visitors coming over to see the roof in person. The roof survived so far two winters in the province of Quebec, including the windstorm of fall 2019 with winds over 90 km per hour. Here are more details about the project. First, do the measurements to determine how many panels you will need. Remember that you will need to overlap panels by one corrugation on each side. Keep in mind that those are not plain sheets, so probably you will need one or two extra panels. You can return uncut panels for a refund, at least in Canada. Second, build the frame. You will need to screw the panels to the frame, therefore use wood. Paint the beams before installation. You have to determine how to cut the ends of the wooden beams, and believe me, you will need to extend them as much as you can to drive in the screws at the corners. Because of the slope of the roof, the cuts must be at double angle. If you are good in geometry, you can do calculations, but I determined my cuts by try and error. As you can see, the beams are not cut at 45 degrees and they don't form 90 degree corner. They meet at 45 degree and form 90 degree corner when you account for the slope of the roof. To do those cuts, you have to set your saw at two angles. The lower beams had to be undercut at the corners to fit nicely over the pillars. At the same time, the beams are braced together under the metal frame to prevent the lifting off the roof during windy conditions. In the middle, the long beams are held at the bottom with this metal brace and at the top with a piece of plywood to accept the panel screws. The middle beam is not so wide like the bottom and the top. And since it is not so long, I didn't brace it at the top with the plywood. I simply made a cut to put it on the metal frame and I brace it at the bottom and at the corners. The top beams braced at the bottom and in the corners. The beams for the top small roof are held only by the panels. At the corners, those are undercut to hold to the metal frame and prevent from lifting off of the metal frame. Third, the panels. Those panels should be installed with the label up only. Use tin snips to cut the panels. When you cut panels at the corners, keep in mind that you need to cut those in a way that the top corrugation part will come close with the top and the bottom with the bottom of the next panel. It looks like this when you mark how to cut the panel because with the slope it will form a straight line. Keep panels straight all around. 
It is a challenge to start at one corner, go around, aligning corrugation top with the top and the bottom with the bottom on the panels and end up at the corner where you started with the right alignment. There are special screws for those panels with a metal and rubber washers. Pre-drill holes in the panels for the screws. Drive screws every second corrugation at the tops. I don't know the original purpose of the steel corners, but they work great for this purpose. There will be no problem with this screw going at the bottom of the corrugation since water will no go up the slope in this place. I attach the corners to the panels here because there is too much distance between the screws. I didn't want the wind to lift it up. On the other side, I used big washers to hold metal corners to the panels. Please notice that I share with you my personal experience with the product and this presentation is not sponsored in any way by the companies that produce or sell this product.